variant workbook solutions. So we are again uh, doing few more questions on the budget constraint. So I'm again telling you, if you're coming here for the first time, I have already recorded a concept video on budget constraint. If you have not seen that, my request is to see, to see that first, right? And make notes. And then you start with these numerical problems. Okay. So <clears throat> it's, this is, and the numbering is not exactly same from the variant problem. So please write it. M was consuming. Hundred units of X and fifty units of Y. <clears throat> Rise of X. rows from two to three. While price of Y remained at four. Right. How much? M's income has to increase so that he can afford exactly the original bundle. So, beta, original bundle uh, which was given to you was 50, uh, 100x and 50y. This is the original bundle. So, at the original prices, P1, P2, it was 2, 4. So the price of X was earlier two. price of Y is remaining at four. Mm -hmm. You were consuming 100 units of X and 50 units of Y. So what is the expenditure which you were making? P1X. Plus P2. So P1X is 2 into 100. P2Y is 4 into, 100, 4 into 50. So 200 plus 200, that is 400. And income is equal to expenditure. Therefore, original income is 400. No? At new prices, P1 dash P2. New prices, new price of X is 3. Price of Y is remaining at 4. Right. So y is 150. So new expenditure. Is what beta? P1 dash x plus P2y. P1 dash x is what? 3 into 100 plus 4 into 50. So that is coming out to be 500. So new income of course is equal to new expenditure. That is 
500. So the change in income should be 500 minus 400, which is. So if you still want to consume the same original bundle at the new higher prices, you should have 100 as more income. So your earlier income was 400. Now your income should be 500 so that you can afford the original consumption. Let's do one more problem. If A spends an entire allowance she can afford only eight X. And eight one. Hmm. Hmm. You can also afford ten X and four. Hmm. Rise of X is 0.5 or half. Hmm. Draw her budget line. What is her weekly allowance? So this is about weekly allowance, right? Is her details. So the budget constraint is P1x plus P2y equals to M. But a P1 is half x. P2 we don't know right now. And uh, uh, Original is this 8.8, eight, right? So it is half 8. We don't know about P2. 8 income is So at xy equals to 8.8. Eight. My budget constraint looks like this. So that is 4 plus P2 equals to yeah. 4 plus 8p2 equals to that. So similarly, she can also afford 10 4. So the budget line is going to be what beta? Even x. P to y equals to n. So P1 is half. X is 10. P2 is P2. Y is 4. Income is M. So once you calculate this, you'll be getting 5 plus 4 P2 equals to n. Now since income is same, therefore, these two are same. This four P two. So once you calculate this, you'll be getting P two equals to one by four. Once you calculate this, you'll be getting P two equals to one by four. The moment you have P two also with you, you can just substitute this P two in either of these equations. In equation either one or in equation two, you can 
you can just put this in either uh, of these equations. So at P2 equals to one by four, from one we have what? Four plus eight, P2, P2 is one by four. So your M is equal to six, your M is equal to six. So your budget allowance is equal to six, right? You have now the prices with you. You have uh, income with you. It is very easy for you to just draw the budget line. So your budget line is going to be P1 X plus P2Y equals to M. So P1 is what? 1 by 2. X. P2 is what? 1 by 4 into Y. M is what? 6. So once you just uh, solve this together, this will come out to be 2x plus uh, y equals to 24. So to 24. You will be getting this guy, right? And uh, once you just draw the budget line for this, so when x is 0, y is 24. When y is 0, x is 12. And y is 0, x is 12. So this is the budget line, which has a slope of, I think I have told you that day also, minus the intercept on the y-axis upon intercept on x-axis. This will come out to be minus 2. Minus the intercept on y-axis upon intercept on x-axis, which is going to come out to be minus 2. And we will generally take the absolute value of the slope, which is equal to 2. Right? So this is what I wanted to do in this class. Thank you.